kicks off for Sunday football. Manly will go back to the top of the table with a victory. And Penrith most likely will stay at number four. Nigel Plum then with the first carry of the day, and it was a, a solid tackle on him by Anthony Watmer, who's involved in the second tackle as well, on Sam McKendry. And they're on the 20-metre line then, Penrith. And this is Adam Docker taking it up the centre of the ground, tackled by Jamie Bura and Josh Starling. Manu, Sika Manu. Brenton Lawrence, uh, as Mosley makes a run for Penrith, Brenton out of the side. That's the first time that front row has been broken up as a run-on side or run-on front row all season long. Um, Lawrence, Starling and Ballon have played every game this season, as is Jack Pura at the back of the scrum. And this ball going down rather nastily, but well taken over there by Hiku. That was a good set from Penrith, as Jamie Lyon comes centre field looking for support and finds some in George Tafua. And he throws a wayward pass cleaned up by Jamie Bury. That was dangerous. A nice solid start invo involving a, a, an offload from Sikamanu. Tafua takes it to his own 20. Manu making the tackle together with Wateni Zelezniak. Who somebody said, why don't you just call him DWZ? What's no playing it on his own 40 metre line then? Sunday football on nine, coming out of Brookvale, and this ball has done a left hand turn and gone over the sideline at the 20 off the boot of Cherry Evans. Yeah, just outside the 40 there. From Daly Cherry Evans. Lieutenant Zelezniak not taking any chances. Left foot planted just outside, and the, the bounce made it difficult for the Penrith winger, but he was happy to let it go over. Massive crowd in, um, and I'm told still queued up out the front getting in. It's a okay, tremendous for crowd. For you, Considering, uh, I mean, Penrith is a long way from here, and they would have added a percentage uh, to this crowd. There's no doubt about it. Wonderful sight looking out over this Brookvale Oval today. They had the pleasure of being in the Penrith dressing room before they ran out, and they were very excited. That's a mark here. There's a penalty against Anthony Watmo. They were very excited. We had a little yarn about the atmosphere out there. It's great being in a dressing room before a game. You know, that nervous look in their eye. And you can see there was real purpose, and I think it showed perfectly in their first set of six, and they start their second halfway. Sitting on the halfway is Brett Finch. Good day, mate. Hey, Rabs. The conditions down here are fantastic. As you can see, it's a fast track. The ground's in great nick. And there's a real buzz here at ground level. The crowd's really excited about this one. I know Gus would be loving it if he was here today. Nigel Plum, just outside the 40-metre line. It's with George Smith, and he turns it back into Sikamanu. He'll play the ball just outside the 30-metre line. Put down by Starling. As they go away to the left side to Salad and then on to Idris. Idris aims himself at Cherry Evans and Jamie Lyon. The big centre three quarter and a penalty. It came up we with the leg around, Tom. A couple of ill discipline around. penalties by Manly inviting Penrith deep into Manly territory. And both in the play the ball area. Too slow up. They wrestle the big man to the ground and wonderful. Opportunity early on, they take the tap. Nigel Plant Plum takes it. 15 out, even closer. So Mosley comes from Clon Curry in Western Queensland. Sam McKendry with a handoff back to Mosley. Now for Nigel Plum. He's going to score. Referee is Matt Checken. He's looking at both his officials on the sidelines and points to the spot. Nigel Plum has scored for Penrith. And don't you love seeing a big front rower wearing headgear crash his way over? And again, it came from an offload. The second one we've seen. And it's a great offload here from Sam McKendry. It was Sikamanu at the other end. And he spun around, found Mosley, and gave it to Nigel Plum to take his way across for his first try in 2014. And what an important one. What a great boost for the young hooker, Kieran Mosley. 
I went down to the sheds before the game purposely to say hello to Kieran and wish him the best. In one of his first touches, he gets to, to tip it on to one of the old schoolers, Nigel Plum. He, yeah, he doesn't score many at all. If we talk about the coaching of the likes of Craig Bellamy and what he can do with players. And I look at a guy like Nigel Plum, and, and Ivan Cleary has brought his game to a new level as well. Nigel's been in the NRL for a number of years now, but he's played his most consistent football over the last couple of seasons. Jamie Soud converting the try, scored by Nigel Plum at the fifth minute of the game. Sunday football, we'll be back in a moment. Incredible. Jamie Lyon. Stay behind, fellas. Jamie Lyon told to move forward half a metre and put the ball on the halfway line. Gee, that's being pedantic, isn't it? Anyway, obviously it must be a, a rule, and technically they're normally correct. But that would seem pedantic to me. So it's played by Jamal Idris, and he comes away with the dummy half does to Soward, and now for Docker. We'll play the ball just outside the 30 metre line as it goes away to McKendry again. There's a nice handoff. That's his second of the game. And he carries, he's had only a few, but he's unloaded twice, and most efficiently, that's lost by Mansour. No question about it, he's, he's bumbled his way through to play the ball. Very talented winger, but. He'd have to put his hand up as making that mistake, that blunder. He came up one of those on Monday night as well against Melbourne, and it's obviously trying to get up and play the ball as quickly as possible, but you can't let that override your technique. And that was building really nicely, again, on the back of an offload. That was mid-count, they were all ready to the halfway line. But Let's go, Jamie. Hand the football over now. Brad was talking about uh, Kieran Mosley. He's one of uh, four of the Holden Go Cup winning side out. from Just last wait. year from Penrith and they went down to Manly here in the Holden Cup today 28 to 24 as it comes away to the 200 man Matai and he's taken down by Dean Fare, a former Eagle played back then for Foran to go on to King and Jason is 28 metres away from the Penrith line Foran to the line and then away to Daly Cherry Evans he's out of the tackle and he's a real will-of-the-wisp, isn't he? You never really know when you've got him beat. Now it's with Ballard with no headgear. What the hell's happened there? Did he, did he run on with headgear? Anyway, here's Cherry Evans back to Tom Simons running an angled line. Back in towards the ruck area, or just to the left of it. This is the last. And here is Ballard getting it away through forward, and it's gone on to Brett Stewart, and he throws. Hand over 10 for 10. A speculator that goes over into the crowd. Great defence from Will Smith. Brett Stewart got the ball on the outside of Will. He realised the speed of Brett Stewart, but he didn't panic. He got hold of the ball, turned him facing his own in goal, and ended up forcing a poor pass. Great defence, Will Smith. Another carry. That's his fourth carry of the game. Plum under there. Try scorer. That's his seventh try of his career, Nigel Plum. So Brad Fittler got it right. He doesn't score often. He's been around since 2005, Nigel. He's got seven tries. That's just a little bit worse than one a year. I coach Nigel, and he actually was formerly a back row, so he had to get anywhere and go to Penrith. He realised his game was... Here is Wateni Zelezniak kicking, and then he gets a, a bump in the chest, Ooh. and he's um, been knocked over late, so it's where the ball lands, and it's a shoulder charge yeah, put on him by Gavin Reynolds, the assistant ref. It was also put on him by George Tafua. Hang on, mate, hang on. <laughs> he's on screen there, and I'm yeah, in position, some adventurous mate. play from Penrith. 
little chip over the top. And there's the penalty. If you want to know what that feels like, you should just go to the biggest rock in the National Park and just run into it. Family, and you'll understand what Deleon with Zalesniak would have felt like then. There's Plum. You go first, Raps. <laughs> just inside the 10 metre line. And now it's come away for McKendry again. Kiwi International, Sam McKendry. So now from Mosley. Away from Smith looking at Idris, who's trying to find the smallest bloke in the back line again. And it was Cherry Evans that he ran out, although he's hardly small. Now they've milked one here, they've got one as well. Idris has done a real ballet dance, he's done an academy. Academy performance to get the penalty. Well done. So they're taking the tap now and they're going to take it back towards the uprights. Ten away from the manly line. Mosley sweeps it to Sauer who turns it in for Manu. So he will be made to play the ball a couple of metres out from the line. Mosley again, long and well directed. Smith, a tip on. There's a try coming for Mansour. Mansour scores, and he might just want to have a look at the tip on. Shoot. I've got to try. Check grounding, please, Mike. He's, no, he's only checking grounding. No, he's a brilliant young player, Matt Boylan. Absolutely outstanding young prospect. And Josh Mansour, he's a very good finisher as well with his bulk. And there's no problem with the put down there, you would think. But the, the build-up was great. Quick passing. Moylan didn't have a chance to catch and pass, so he just got it to the outside as quickly as possible, and that's an easy one to adjudicate on. Second try for the Panthers, second of the afternoon, a flying start. Incredible start. Try. So 10 nil after about 11 minutes of, of play here at Brookvale in front of what would have to be described only as a partisan crowd, parochial. Uh, I, I, I admit there's a few here from Penrith, but my goodness, they'd be in shock here, the majority of the crowd. Yeah, I think everyone's in a bit of shock, Rabs. They've definitely spotted a weakness over in the right-hand side defence for Manly. It's twice they've come over to Sikamanu with like a nothing play. It's just been Jamie Sauer dishing it off on the inside with just a winger. But it's all with the purpose of... Here he goes. There's only one player outside Jamie there. That's a winger holding... 35 metres of ground. And you can see him out on the left-hand side outnumbering three to one. Good coaching by Ivan Cleary and good execution by the Panthers. You've seen a lot of great young players over a lot of years, Ray. This Matt Moylan, when you know someone's a bit special, they seem to make difficult tasks look easy. You're absolutely right. I was only making that point to a couple of the mates at the club the other day. I said, this kid from Penrith... Don't underestimate him when you're talking about the great fullbacks in the game. I think this kid is already great. Matt Moore. And here's Soward. He's just offline this time, but 10-0. They'll be satisfied with that, Finchie. Great start by the Panthers and a great start by young Will Smith. As Freddie mentioned, he saved a try up this end and he's gone down the other end and had a hand in scoring Penner's first try. I'm already looking forward to the post-match press conference. Jeff Tuvey, penalty count at the moment, 4-0. Investigation. It will be very, very interesting. So Jamie Lyon is now six inches behind the halfway line. And at this stage of the game, the completion rate, seven from eight for Penrith, one from two from the Seagulls. They have had no football Time whatsoever. On, there's no complaint this time from the officials that told him to move it forward half a metre. This time he goes back about 12 centimetres away from the line. He refuses to put it on the line. He might have a thing about line. I think Pam Schreiber didn't like to put her foot on any of the tennis lines in tennis. Brad's just looking at me wondering what position Pam Schreiber is playing. I remember she was the great. used to play Martina Navratilova. Didn't win very often, but she... Of course, she was playing Martina Navratilova and Steffi Graf. I understand that, but she didn't, she didn't put her feet on any of the lines if she could help it. Plum. 
playing the ball on the halfway line. Now for Soward. Kicks down into the corner judiciously. That's the best place to bring him back from, Brett Stewart. And Farray's got him, and this will be a pinch against the youngster, Dallin Wateni Zelezniak. God, it's a mouthful. <laughs> Bit of inexperience there. Because they were a chance with the momentum in the tackle of taking Brett Stewart over the sideline. Okay, okay, stay here. Once he played out the football, obviously the more than it. one in the tackle. Uh, it's only ever going to go one way. Starling gets driven back. Right up there. Right on, that man that I've been mildly rapping, Kendrick, who's the chief enforcer. Now for Jason King. And the ball played back for Ballon to go away. I'm just double checking it is Matt Ballon. Of course it's Matt Ballon. Here's Jamie Lyon. Let it go, let it go, John. One of those players that always wears headgear. It's Tom Simons. I don't think he was dispossessed of it. So I take it he's decided not to bother. Might have been a decision that it's too hot a day to wear it. Play by Beera. He must have the air condition the ball model. Came out Hands on the ball against over. Penrith. The Manly get a penalty. That will please the coach. And a resounding cheer around Brookvale. And that's a really bad penalty giveaway. That was on the fifth tackle. You've done all the hard work. Consecutive sets now for the Eagles with what mode in possession. Ballon coming away to Foran. And Foran gets it away. The try is there for Beera. Jamie Bura has played every game of the year. And he scores after Ballon gave it to Foran. And gee, they can look alike from a distance. Yeah, and Matt Ballon got absolutely nailed when he passed the football. I'll be keen to have a look at the replay as to the contact made with the number nine. But that's an ominous sign for Penrith. Really their second foray down that end of the field, the home side. And they've posted points. Uh, the arm was, was a bit wide there from McKendry, so it might be OK. I think it was McKendry. Jamie Bura, who's played a lot of minutes of late. In fact, his last eight games, he's played the full 80. Now it's Adam Docker who, who gets Matt Ballin and Kieran Ford and puts it on a platter for his back rower. This was the reaction from Jeff Toovey when Matt Ballin was tackled. And he goes over to have a look at the replay and says, Sir... So anyway, there's our try scorer, Jamie Bura. He's a handy player, Jamie Bura, isn't he? Is he what? Can play pretty much anywhere. In Penrith are getting in a bit of a bad habit of sliding. We saw Brett Stewart nearly pierce their line. It was Kieran Foran this time. Daly Cherry, Cherry Evans has nearly done it. They want to be careful. Jamie Lyon. 15 in from touch on the western side. Boots it into this massive crowd. It looks like a massive crowd when you play it at a suburban ground. And that's what generates the atmosphere. And uh, a sea of particularly maroon and white. And the flags idea that worked earlier in the year for the Manly Club, giving away flags, I think, to the first 5,000 people. That works. Good marketing, Manly. Time you're on! 10-6, the Panthers. Had 18 minutes go by. Ooh, Tom Simon's lost it. Jason King brings it back. He's lost it as well. It's there for Mosley. The call is to play on, and Mansour is with the ball. Here it is. 15 out from the, from the line. And just coming back over the top of the tackle player. He wants to be careful doing that. His docker. Now they're in the middle of the ground, as you can see. They're running down towards the Bob Fulton, Steve Menzies stand into the ground. Oh, McKendry hit right under the ball by Anthony Watmo. And it's gone forward. It'll be a scrum. And Watmo is being congratulated all round by the Manly teammates. He continues to play with that bicep problem, Anthony. It was a, a, a bicep that... I don't think it tore from the actual bone, but from the adjacent muscle. And he said it can't get any worse by playing. I think that's what he, he said. This is James Hassan about to come on, Brad. In origin, I remember after the game, there was some staff there that it used to be were part of soccer federations and soccer teams. And Chock came in and said, oh, my bicep's torn off the bone. And they looked at him and said, oh, wow. Well. How long are you going to be out for? He said, oh, 
No, I think I'll play this week. You've had most things happen to your reps. You ever had one of them? <laughs> but you're quite right. I look forward to it. <laughs> I love, I love the doctor surgery. Here is Tafua. George Tafua, another of the JTs in our game. He's left his brand on young Wateni Zelesniak, and here's another penalty against uh, Penrith for inside no, the not, ten. No, it's not. Jerry Evans comes up and will kick for touch. Nigel Plum, first try in the game at the fifth minute. Then Josh Mansour in the twelfth minute with Bura at the sixteenth minute of the game. Ten six in favour of the Panthers. Half uh, it's quarter, way, quarter way through the game. Now. This is Starling. No Lawrence today. It's Ballon going on and dropping it back into Hassan. So he's just inside the 20 down the central corridor. He's fallen again and he goes out looking for Brett Stewart. The pass goes go, go, wide go. and it's away now with oh. Wateni Zelesniak. And Stewart pulls him down. Now they put him into touch. And the touch judge said he is. He's in the touch. Fidlow, can you sit down? Oh, We've got to say this again. You're broadcasting, not barracking. If he just looked inside a little bit earlier, <laughs> I think it was Will Smith, he would have been off and gone. And I reckon he's tipped out inside. I need to see it again. I need to see it. Well, you can't blame him for pinning the ears back because this man is a real speedster with Tenny Zelesniak. And that is an absolute try saver from Brett Stewart after throwing the poor pass in their attacking raid. Oh, I'd love you to be able to sure cram into this box with us, all of you. Viewers. <laughs> Johns, awesome. and, Johns and Fittler, they forget that they're actually broadcasters now. They, they prefer to be barrackers. You could probably hear him in the background, Fittler. Cheering on Wateni Zelezniak. I just love seeing footballers in space. Yeah. We also pride ourselves on having no bias. I think we can include Brad Fittler in that description, Raps. Here's Watmo and Foran is really proving dangerous for them, which is probably an understatement. But he'll play the ball, Kieran. Ballon appealing. It's gone to Watmo. Goes on out to Jerry Evans in the Idris. He's over the top of him. Ballon back for Foran. Out they go to Tafua. Tafua tackled about nine metres out from the line by Faro. Here's the last for Manley. Four and now. Kicks towards Jamie Lyon. And it's come down with Jamal Idris. It's a great catch. Jamie Lyon is very, very good in the air. And Jamal Idris gets up slowly to play in the football. He came racing in to nail Daly Cherry Evans. As Josh Sewell gets away. Saw, breaking down the left side. And again making the tackle as Jamie Lyon. Great cover work by Lyon. Lost ball by Mansour. And he's out appealing to the referee. We had every opportunity, Josh Mansour, to put the ball in the left hand and use his right arm to palm Jamie Lyon off. Pardon? And that's maybe something he's he can work on in the off season. The he wanted to. I've answered your question. I've answered your question, Jamie. And Cherry Evans comes in. His hands are in there, Dally. No, it's not a break in place. And then so his knee's in there as well. It's a break in place for 41 seconds as well. You can't plant the football right, down go, before you rise to your feet, but And that's what Josh Mansour's weakness is. Done it a couple of times now. Can't afford to do it again. And right, Jamal Idris came in. racing in to nail Dali Cherry Evans. Around. It was like an eclipse. Right, yes, it was. In fact, uh, I, I'm not being smart, but when you described the catch by Jamal Idris, I thought Richie Bonner was sitting next to me. Great catch. Great catch. And the great man will be watching, he and Daphne, today. Uh, congratulations on that award of if you got the cricket ground on Tuesday, old fella. And yourself, right? Thank you. Appreciate that. But Rich loves to watch his football. Here is Steve Matai. And Matai going down to within seven metres of the line. 
So Brett Stewart's a dummy half. And it's gone to Bira. And Bira back and away. It's out with Ballon. Ballon on to Cherry Evans. Sow it's come up. The ball bounces favourably, though, for Hiku. Six more tackles. And here is Hiku, who has scored 12 tries in nine games of Brookie this year. He plays it back for Ballon to go on to Hassan. And Hassan gets his nose through, puts the ball out the back. Lost, 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 lost. And it was lost, there's no doubt about that. Whether it was lost backwards or not, I'm not too sure. But a scrum will pack 12 out from the uh, from the Penrith line. Well, plenty of mistakes in this game. I've said before, I, I quite like that. It keeps it exciting. Plenty of changes in momentum. James Hassan definitely looking to offload there, and the arm coming over from the defender was able to dislodge the ball. Penrith leading by 10 to 6 with 15 minutes of the first half to go. This is only their third game. It's probably a bit hard to fathom, but it's only the third game of the season against a top four opponent. And they've lost them both, one to South and one to the Roosters. Well, the other thing that's hard to fathom, Ray, on the back of that is it's their first meeting this year. We're in round 25. Mm -hmm. They met in round 26 last year. I, I don't know whether they played twice last year, but they met in round 26 last year. And Penrith won that one quite decisively in a high-scoring game here at Brookvale before Mary went on to the grand final. Played by Idris then, 22 out. Mosley's done well. Mosley's out into the open. He's up to halfway, puts on a step, picks up Soward. He's quick over 40 metres, as we know. And now he's gone down, tackled under Brett Stewart. 25 metres out from the Manly line. Good run by Mosley. Now it's out to Moylan. Throws a long torpedo ball. And it's gone out there to Mansour. Working one in from the wing with Idris outside him. Idris will go to dummy half. And it comes on. And it's now with Robinson. That looked a little bit high. It's come to Moylan. They've got their hands up out here. Soward was one of them. He puts a, a little left-right step on. It's gone through and... It's just short of the line. In possession of Manley's fullback, Brett Stewart. He's had to do some cleaning up, Brett, hasn't he? He does it with ease, too, most of the time, Brett Stewart. It's a great set of defence from Manly. I remember speaking to Jeff Toomey before on the Sunday footy show, and I asked him, did he know much about Kieran Mosley? He said no. Well, he knows more about him now. Recipient out there. Oh, he's throwing the ball with his back turned and Idris will go over. Jamal Idris has scored. But you won't see that mistake made too often by Jamie Lyon. He's, he's tried to get Try. a miracle ball Just away on his own 20 metre line. line and he really wasn't in a, much of a position to do anything. I've seen that many passes thrown already in this game, Ray, that you just would not expect, especially from some of those delivering it. It's a crazy old start to this game. Very exciting. But when was the last time you saw Jamie Lyon in his own 20 metre zone throw a blind pass, just waiting to be intercepted? He, he couldn't believe his luck. Jamal Idris. And he just pushes away from Peter Hiku to, to put the football down and, and Penrith hit back. We're getting a bit of everything this Arvo. Well, he'll be, he'll be tickled pink Jamal. But Jamie, I think, would be back there behind the line, bashing himself up. Well, I've got to say, Tommy Simon thought he had it as well, Sterlo. He was off and gone, Tommy. <laughs> he was a pin in his ears back. He didn't even have the ball. It's always very dangerous to throw a pass like that with your back turned to the defence because you obviously don't know where they are positioned. And because the play had gone a couple of passes wide, the defence had made its way up. And he said he should have learnt from his last kick. I can understand with the game on the line and the clock against you, but we've got 12 minutes of the first half to go. And the deficit was only four. It's now out to eight and probably about to become ten. There's the kick from Soward. So Penrith have got their third try. And they lead by the ten-point margin now, 16 to six on Sunday football. Yeah, we're going to go back to that play the ball. Manly had a, it was a tremendous set of defence. And on tackle four, 
It was the bloke, Kieran Mosley, that no one seemed to know much about. He turned it all around. Great run. Well, he's been sent to the bench. Mosley, and he's on the bike. And a roar from the crowd. Tim Grant is on. Yeah. Forward pass. And that's the problem with throwing a, a player in who's not accustomed or adept at sure playing that. at dummy half. I think it's Robinson out there. You would expect it to be Lewis Brown. That's a mile forward for Tim Grant's first touch. So they've opened the gate for Manly to strike back almost immediately. Just looking at some of the right, let's pack it in. changes out there now. Sene Lefeo is out there in jumper number 14. Tim Grant, I told you, is in there. And Peter just mentioned that Lewis Brown is now on the park. And a gorgeous last day of August. Daniel Brookvale. Oh, Cherry Evans. He threw a ball. I think he thought he was throwing it to Steve Matai. And Steve had long gone by the time the missile arrived. Here's Brown. 30 metres out from his own line now. So Manly had a, a great opportunity. And they basically just threw it away. Timmy Zelezniak playing the ball on his own red line. Now for Grant, who will go to South next year. He's bitterly disappointed at not being required by Penrith. But he explained in the papers today that it was a business decision by Penrith. And... I don't think he, he carries any great anger towards them, even though he's so disappointed. Down to George Tafua, <laughs> and he's no come way. down with it. No. <laughs> he was a million to one. Steve Maddai brings it out to the 30-metre line. How, Have a look at George. How do you not use your hands to catch it, but just your fingers? Wow. Penalty now to Manly. Never square oh, mark here, Chesh. He's gone within a he millimetre of knocking on with George Tafua. Now they've got a penalty. Carry them out from their 40. Thursday night, of course, uh, one of the classic games coming up. Roosters versus Rabbits at Arleons. That's live at 7.30. Minicello and Sonny Bill Williams, their last regular season home game. And tickatech.com.au for your tickets for that one. Apparently they spotted someone sleeping in their car. Big frame, slightly red ginger hair. He's in the Allianz Stadium car park. Sena <laughs> Lafayette. There is a foreign danger. Now for Bura, who's got one. The try for Manly. Matai has gone up to acting hard. King back forward, knocked down by Penrith. And he should start the tackle count. He does. And Cherry Evans has got the ball for Manly. So here we are, about 22 metres out, less than that now, as Jamie Lyon wrestles with Sowage tackle. And Lyon, a penalty goes to Manly. Give him the ball, Jamie. It was a steal, a two man tackle. There's your mark, Jamie. Well, they just need to settle down here, man. Control the football. They've thrown more passes than they hit the ground than I can ever remember. Just maintain pressure now, build the pressure. Simons is seven metres out from the line. If they come to Jason King, they'd love to, they'd love to find a try for the big bloke. Co-captain. His farewell game here at Brookvale. Here's Ballon to Cherry Evans. Picking up. Second rower, I think it is, from the far side is Tom Simons, and the penalty goes no, too against slow, Penrith. Too slow in getting up, up, and getting up and getting away. So Manly get another chance. Senna Lafaro. Six metres out. Ballon got it away to four and deep away to Brett Stewart. Beats one or two. Here's a try for George. George to fill up. He has scored. Jeez. Referee Thanks, wants it looked at. Tackle two, mate. Think he might have a try. Have try. He has. Check the, uh, possible obstruction, mate. Given what they're doing these days, and we're looking at obstruction as well. 
Yeah, certainly no problem with the put down. George Tafua, he was just straight line diving the football over in the corner. And this very, very dangerous left hand side. It was a, a brilliant dummy half pass to get it out wide. And Kieran Foran out in the front. Brett Stewart, that's missed. Steve Maddai goes through. The tennis Zelezniak is the man who came in. And the finish from Tafua is very professional. Well, initially I thought there was no way, it was just a missed tackle, but Steve Maddai goes straight across the front of Deline Zelezniak, and, yeah, he, he was impeded, no doubt. So I think we're going back to the obstruction again. What are you thinking, Sterlo? I might have a look at this one. See the decision made by Zelezniak. Yeah, no, he yeah. does. He goes, that's no Steve try. Maddai first. That shouldn't be a try. So this will probably, it is, it's turned down. So we'll take a break and we'll be back at Brookvale in just a moment. We'll improve your discipline and you won't have any more. <laughs> so back at, back at Brookvale. Sunday football, we're broadcasting from the back of the, the grandstand here on the western touchdown. Hitler was just drawing the wrath of a manly fan who gave him the bird. I, I won't be walking out with Fitler at the end of the game, mate. I'll be giving him a wide bird. I think the bloke thinks that Fitler talked the, uh, talk the uh, disallowed try under the video referee, but they've got no communication with us at all. Anyway, the bloke give it to Fitler big time. And of course he laughed. Now it's out to Will Smith, and there's the ball to Ridge was fancy to Moylan up short to, uh, to Faray. Jamal, he, he's, he's just like a big kid. He, he has to put a bit of the old spectacular into it. Here's a chance for, no, it's come down to Manley, and Foran gets back into the field of play, taken off in one on one. It was a knock-on off Panthers originally. It was a knock-on originally off here. the Panthers. No advantage gained by Manly, so he will give them right the changeover to Matt Homer. Five minutes of this first half. Square up here. Wait, wait, wait. And still. Can I get an early mark today, Ray? Help, help. Help. You certainly can. We don't, we don't want any arguments in the box. But why don't you apologise to the bloke? He's obviously listening to you. Anyway, here is Jerry Evans, and he's taking Simons with him. Five or six metres on his own side of the halfway, and Simons out from dummy half, running a long way before he met something that looked like a defender. Idris presented himself. Anderson's out there. I oh, beg your pardon, not Anderson, but Murdoch Masilla. Oh, well taken, Moylan. Ten oh, metres out from his line. He had a heap of height about it. And then Smith had done in half using what Tenny is in the act. Would he mind if I called him what Tenny one time and Zelezniak the next? Would that be fair? No raise, no for Tenny Zelezniak. Thank you, Peter. Expected every time that he touches the football. Thank you, Peter. So the 19 is out there. Sam Anderson playing it back for Lewis Brown. Now it's come back to Murdoch Masilla. And I'll call Will Smith. You call Will Smith. And Lewis Brown. Oh, good. Have them. There's Salad dropping it down into the corner. And Hicku is across there. Ten metres out from his line. Tafua. But Stewart is way over on the right of the ground. I was just wondering where he'd gotten to with Hiku doing the clean-up. And Brett's sort of at outside. He might be limping just a little bit, as a matter of fact. Three minutes of the half remaining, 16 to 6, and Matai takes it up hard, but Penrith beat him just as hard. Brown and Murdoch Masilla now for Senna Lafeo. Centre of the ground. 
Penrith scoring three first half tries to one. Here's a chance for Britt. He puts a kick on it. Oh, picked up beautifully. And this one is for Timmy Zelezniak. Oh, oh, he's showing a forward pass to Lewis Brown. Well, now he doesn't care what I call him. I can think of a couple of things. That, <laughs> I can think of a couple of things Fitler's thinking about calling him. I, I think if Brett Stewart had his time over again, Ray, he doesn't kick. I think he had support here that he didn't quite realise on his left. There in Daly Cherry Evans, Kieran Foran, and a couple of ranging up on the outside. And with Tenny Zalesniak, I thought he was going to take on Steve Maddai, who was standing flat footed, as they're claiming shoulder charge. Talk to Matt. Okay. I've got it, mate. And what do you want, mate? Okay. Jamie, yeah, take him back there for me, please. Skip up. Yeah, they're going to put a penalty on, on Manly here. Arms up here. I just need Jamie, mate. Don't need you. Jamie, Arms Jamie, here. I'm not here to argue it's with you. They've had a look, what? and it's on report. It's, it's penalty. Well, you you called it. Sounds mate. all right. Decisions, mate. I'm not talking to you. I can't talk to you here. Please go away. I think Matt Checken might have got the message from Tony Archer that Thursday night was unacceptable. Penalties and scrums. Captains are not oh, yeah. supposed to communicate with the referee, although Tony did come out and make a statement that in the event of a caution, he will explain it briefly, but then tell them to go away. Speaking to Gus the other day, and one thing he's very passionate about is taking microphones off the referees. And it seems like a pretty good idea. I don't think we necessarily have to know exactly what is going on out in the middle of a footy field. Grant. Smith it is with the ball. And behind a couple of decoys, Moylan just jumped there. I think he might have thought there was an obstruction coming. If I don't get out of here, there'll be an obstruction. Now Mansour, dummy, dummy again, and takes him on. He's a big, a big, strong-looking winger, isn't he? Mansour, and very good. And now this is end. Uh, this is Brown, I should say. Five metres away from the line, and here's Smith back on the inside for Docker. He lost it. He kicked it before it hit the ground. Picked up, though, by Bura. Would have been play on, by the way. Dropping the ball, you negate the knockdown by kicking it before it hits the ground. Jason King is it under there? Yes, it is. Brett Stewart. No, referee's gone down, checking. Bounces up like a rubber ball. Back there. And here is Hiku. Just outside the 20 metre line. So half time is a minute away. And it's 16 to 6 in favour of the Panthers. Both sides have had 20 uses of the football. Panthers have completed 14. Manly have completed 13. But there has been a fair bit of dropsy in the game. And here's Moylan across the ground. He's trying to outsmart Jamie Lyon. And here's the Idris flopping this ball down. And it is Mansour beating one and then running into Bira. Got around Kieran Foran. Sour dummy hunt. Brown. And Maddai hits him with a corker. And it's dived on by Faro. So Dean playing it on halfway. And now for young Docker. Seven or eight metres into Manley's area. Grant winds up. He might have a shot at one point here, Jamie Sowell. And he's in position too. And he look at, he just took a look at the clock. There goes the kick. It's screwing away. So there's no addition to the score as we break for half time. The Panthers, 16 to 6 at the break. Three tries to one over the home side, Manley. So Pettis kick off through the boot of Moylan for the second half with a 10-point lead. And of course, if Manly are beaten here today, then Souths and the Roosters on Thursday will be for the minor premiership for the second year in a row. So it's gone away from 
Polo, who's out there in 15. And that'll be without Jake Friend. He looks like he'll be at least two or three weeks. Well, I think South's are going to be without a couple as well. Just to balance that this is Horro. Justin. Now, kick from four and oh gee. Moylan's lost it completely. Um, it's been picked up eventually, though, by Robinson. And he'll play the ball eight metres away from the Penrith line. Idris it is. Taking the job of forward away. And of course, it doesn't really mean much difference for Jamal. He can play second row or centre just as easily. And Mansour refuses to go down. He's very, very strong. Here's Moylan. He's up the middle and he's away. He's over the 40. He steps around Brett Stewart. Here's Foran coming from nowhere to make the tackle. Brett Stewart completed it, but Foran made it. Now Smith it is for Soward off his right foot. He comes across the ground. He grubbers in and Mansour, Mansour. He thinks he's got himself a try. He must have missed it the Last first tackle. time. No try. No try has been called. Yeah, I think he might have it right, although he was facing towards his own goal post. I think the ball's definitely gone forward. Brilliant vision by Jamie Soward and Josh Mansour. After that brilliant break from Poro Matt Moylan, he's sucking in the big ones out the back at the moment, but he's onside. And it, I think he's definitely dragged that forward. It I can do some good. horrible things, a rugby league ball, can't it? It only had to sit up half decently. You're right, Freddie. It was great decision making from Jamie Soward after a silky run from Matt Moylan. I'd turn out to watch that young man play every week. Unfortunately, it will be a red light. And off on out the 20. Well, some days a pigeon, other days a statue. And just then he was a statue. And here's Moylan's bust. This, this prodigious youngster, Zero, ten, the custodian for Penrith. We talked about him in the first half, and we keep talking about the Slaters and the Haynes and the Inglises in our game and the Brett Stewarts. This kid, he's heading somewhere very very special that's your mark there in the northerly direction that's your so mark the penalty there. goes to manly and this could be a huge turnaround in this game even this early on in the second half that would have been a major blow landed you would think that the conversion would have been successful if josh mansour had have successfully grounded the football and now all of a sudden if manly can score for the sake of a couple of minutes here it could be a big reversal that's king Right, Adam down, here. Down, Jamie. Don't come running in, don't come running in. Oh, he's beating Titans here, it. lower screen. Big win. It's like a surrender score. Yeah, we will, we will. Um, There's some momentum in this, and I think it's Adam, Adam right. Docker who will Manly. be the main Penrith, protagonist. Let's go to 30. Let's go to 30 for us. Here we got? Yeah, no, he's going to... Just wait there, wait there. Yeah, I know. Adam Docker. Thank you. Our penalty. No, the penalty is there, just wait here. Mate, just wait. I've got to put a player on report. Over there, thanks, mate. Well, who's the first Adam Docker, come here. him leaving with the knee or us? It's on report, mate. Dangerous tackle. Hold on. Penalty's here. So, are we looking at the knee as well? I've answered your question, Jamie. We're not. We've cleared that. It's a dangerous tackle. That's what the penalty's for. Wait, mate. Wait. So Docker goes on report. And here is Senna Lafayo. 11 metres out from the line. And back for Bura to sweep it away. Four and to Stewart. Again from Bura. Up for Jerry Evans and the crowd really getting involved now. As Stewart looks to equal the record. Pulled down though by Docker and Brown. Bura sweeping it away for and goes neatly and shortly into the stomach of Horro. Penrith holding tight at the moment. Matai back 
by Jason King, and then Foran, now Cherry Evans, now the captain. And Jamie Lyon has got Jamie Soward with him. So the last tackle is here for Manly. And Tom Simons and Anthony Watmo. I don't know that they need all these forward involved. But uh, the kick is up off Cherry Evans. Batted back by Tafua. Comes down to Matai. He kicks. Ball picked up by Latini no Zelezniak. And it's a, it's a scrum for Manly. Loose head and feed. So the winger is knocked on for Penrith. To Manly are going to come back strong. They want to come back a bit more disciplined than they did or structured than they did just then, though. There's the crowd, 18-6-5-4. That basically, that's the end of it here. That's Domino. You can't put any more in, surely. Wonderful crowd. Well done to the marketing people at Manly. Mind you, you had a bit of luck with the weather. Can't see a cloud. They've been here for a fortnight. How good's their marketing team, Rabs? They get the sun involved in everything. Ah, oh, well, that's, that's the way it is in the peninsula. God's country intercepted by Soward. Here's a foot race. Jamie Lyon after the fastest man over 40 on the planet. He might be the fastest man over 70. Jamie Lyon, I think, for one might agree. Soward runs about 80 metres to score. The, the bench stands to applaud the little captain. Well, I've seen it, but I don't believe it. We said you'll see a pass from Jamie Lyon intercepted maybe once in his career. Well, we've some two in the space of 20 minutes. He changed his mind right at the end there. He, he was going to throw it and then thought, no, I don't want that to go. But it was too late. And Jamie Sowen raced away. This is a funny game of footy, this one. If you have a look here, Jamie was going to pull out the six shooters. But he thought there's still 34 minutes to go. I'm at Brookvale. It's only 20 points to six. I don't want to be popping the cork just yet. He put the six shooters away. Yeah, I love I love some of your parallels. <laughs> what was that one earlier? The statues and the pigeons. And the pigeons. He was a statue then, poor Mansour, but old Jamie was a pigeon just then. Fitler's lexicon of jargon. That's probably his follow-up book to what was the other one called? <laughs> it's been a couple. It's a Freddy one. <laughs> Freddy, that was a beauty. Here's Jamie adding the two. So he ices the try. And the Panthers lead by 22 to 6 with 33 to go. Stay behind Manly. Stay behind here, Manly. Work hard this set for Punky boys, okay? So Jamie Lyon taking us into the next passage of play. So what is around this next corner? Might well be the question. Played by Tim Grant. Now for Mansour. Thursday night. Looking there it is. penalty. Penrith. 10 metre penalty. And players in front of him, he's called him back. But that Roosters Rabbitohs game, with every second that ticks away here, we're looking at a replay of a match they contested in the same round last year for the minor premiership. You probably are wondering why we're saying that. Well, Manly's percentages or fours and against. We'll see them fall well short of the other two. That's if they're beaten. They're not beaten yet. 22 to 6. Played by Robinson to Brown. That's Anderson. That's Grant. Goodness gracious. This is an incredible performance by the Penrith club. I don't know where they're going to finish this tournament. But there's probably nine of their first graders out of this side today that won't be back. 
Idris. Idris goes inside out or outside inside ball. That's Smith after Moylan got a touch. And that's a oh, that's that's a real dumb play. There's been so many players playing the ball dumb today. And they're always looking for somebody else to blame. I think both teams will be hoping they get all this out of their play before they play finals football. Doesn't look like it's that hard to do anymore, to play the ball. There's no play the ball contest anymore. Remember when you could rake for the ball? Who was the master of that? Benny, wasn't he? Dean Roberts was pretty good at it. Mario Finney. So Manley winning the scrum back on a 20 metre line. Here's Watmo making a break for Manley. Up to halfway he goes. He's pulled down by Anderson, the 19. Now, Bill oh, Pure is knocked on. They can't mount anything. They couldn't ride a horse because they, they can't mount anything. Oh, Manley. In front of this wonderful crowd, they would love to be playing out of their skin. I, I, I can imagine how they're feeling. Jason King, farewell. Glenn Stewart, no more. All right, seconds lock, come together, thanks. Uh, hold here. Brett Stewart, he wants one to level up with Steve Menzies. Storm and Broncos, Friday night. Hold here. Hold here. So the Broncos, they've got to go down to Melbourne and beat them in their own backyard. I would imagine to stay in the eight. Melbourne wanting to win to finish, I would think, five or six. Five, probably, maybe six. Grant, the way I'm reading it, and it's only my opinion, I'm starting to think the Cowboys and Melbourne are going are gonna to fill five and six. This is Brown. 20 metres out from the line. 22 to 6. The Panthers, the mountain men. They call them the chocolate soldiers. They're not any more. So they're not going to melt. And here's Moylan putting a kick in and has dived on there. And Idris is saying, knock on. No. No one. What no plays it. This is Hiku. Crowd begging for a penalty inside the 10. They're saying. Bura fires it away to Foran. So Kieran to play the ball just inside his own 20. Jerry Evans wants it, but Bura makes a run. It's a safe run out to the 30 metre line. Brett Stewart, then Daly Jerry Evans, shows it to Simons, but it's put away by two Panthers. One of them Mansour, played by Daly. Penalty goes against Penrith inside the 10. So one just gets Stay the suspicion that the crowd eventually made themselves heard. Jason King comes from the field. Raven. Janamis Louis. And now here is Senna Lafayo, and he runs into a tackle for Murdoch Masilla. Together with Anderson, here come the Eagles. Jerry Evans, Brett Stewart, Jamie Lyon. Jamie Lyon turns, Hiku inside, but they shut him down. Mansour makes the tackle, but that's how close they are, Manly. Decoy from Watmo, Long from Jerry Evans, four and drifting. Matai coming back on the angle to play the ball, 10 out. In front of the Southern uprights, and here's Bura getting it away to Louis again. Five gone for Manley. Penrith hanging on. Now it comes from Bura. Goes on to Simons. Out to Jamie Lyon. He puts a dab on it. And Sowart cleans it up. Line dropout. Much better from Manley. Good control in that set. They threw plenty at this Penrith team. And it'll be a slow restart. It's a bit out of gas at the moment. And they cover this up very, very well when Mansour raced up. Idris did well, and so too Robinson. And then some nice inside work again, this time from Murdoch Masilla, on the other side of the field. Just getting a report from the sideline just to make sure that Matt Ballon is OK. He hasn't been out there for a while, and Jamie Bura is operating out of dummy half. 
Stay behind, fellas. Might just Time need a rest, up. the number nine without the headgear today. But it's rare to see him not out there for the duration. Salad, who made the ball dead. Take it on the feet by Brett Stewart. And Junamis Louis on his third carry. Ball comes out, and it's a penalty, Manly. That's black and white. That's black and white, Lewis. That's your mark. Hand on the ball. He said to Lewis Brown, it's black and white. There's no grey. What low on the 20 metre line. Bura working a dummy half. Louis as his legs snapped from under him by Docker. Now Bura back to Brett Stewart. Dummy, dummy. Then Lyon. Now Simons. Simons. Simons as he got the ball down. I think he has. I think it's a try. It's a try for Tom Simon. Well, they built into that one, the Manly side, and again, on the back of penalties, they were able to get the ball over. Matt Moylan did his best here, and he, he actually turned the big fella, Tom Simons, onto his back. But he was able to get the football down to the referee's liking. Outside in play. And uh, they needed that, Manly. He had a pretty good shot at him here, Sterlo. I think Matt Moylan will be very disappointed with himself. It's Tommy Simon used his left hand, twisted, beat the effort to Jamal. But the great fullbacks, they score him, and they saved him as well. Jamie Lyon converts. So it's 22 to 12, 10 point ball game. Wonderful. The crowd now <laughs> urging Manly. 18,500 people here at Brookvale. And it's a, a sea of maroon and white that is crammed in here with a, a little bit of the, the black magic in amongst them. The Black Magic lead by 10, but there's a long, long way to go. Brett, what's the story on Matt Ballon? We haven't seen him since halftime. Yeah, I think Matt has sustained a leg injury in the first half, and it looks like his afternoon may be over. Foreign. Well, he's played today, I think it's the 182nd consecutive game. And here's Horro. Bounced away by Senna, Lafayo, and then Simons makes a mistake. Tackle one here for Penrose. And Jamal okay, Idris has got the ball. I thought he might have had a tiny knock on him there himself. He took it off him. Now it's a penalty. Ground, a penalty to Penrith against Jamie Bura. Uh, Brett, while you're there, is, can you make an inquiry about no headgear, Matt Ballon? I know it might seem trivial to some, but it's, it's important to me. Yeah, they just decided he not to wear it. The trainers had no idea that he uh, wasn't wearing it today. Mm. No, that's not good enough. You can't <laughs> find something. You that, can't find something straight, more that's, interesting. That's straight from TC, Tony Chan. You can't just make a decision like that after so many games. <laughs> Executive decision, boys. You've got enough staff down there to go and ask the question. I'm not asking you to go and ask it. Chalmers and Sharp, they're all down there. Lambert, send one of them. <laughs> Designate some. Here's the ball to Sowen. Now Moylan joins in. Comes back to Sowen. Now it's back to Smith. What's he going to do? Gives a little ball to Brown. Brown steps off his right foot to the 10 metre line. Right in front of the uprights. Now we're down at the northern end. Here it is with Moylan. And Moylan is two metres out. Tackled by Senna Lafayo. Playing it back to Brown. Here's Sauer. Gave it inside. Idris is looking to make a dent on them. But they tackle him just outside the 10. <laughs> Penalty. And again, it's against Manley. Leaves me no choice, mate, when he's going to the ball when it comes Let's loose. Take the two to go. Two converted tries in front. Yeah, I think the way Jamie Sauer plays, he's quite I confident with his sets of six. That's why. 
I think you'll think you'll be able to get receive the kick off and get back hopefully back down to where they are now takes it out to 12 Jamie Lyons got to kick the goals I love watching Jamal run across the field you can see the whole Penrith side they become alert any update on the uh, on the headgear saga <laughs> no updates Tony Chalmers actually found out early in the first half The greatest throw off I've, I've ever heard. You just put the responsibility onto someone else. And Talk about a news department that won't work. <laughs> He's made a good transition, Finch, but can't rest on his laurels. I'm half tempted to send a microphone to Matt Ballon and ask him why he didn't do it. 24 to 12. Okay. You go long, funky Walsh. You, you drift around here for me, mate. It's so important now that Penrith, from this restart, get to their kick. I said earlier, there's been some things happening in this game that's just been all over the place. Two converted tries now. We've got a quarter of the game to go. After scoring points, they need to hand the football Stay back behind. to Manly at the other end of the field. Jamie Lyon chucks it down towards Will Smith, and he's tackled back in his own 20 metre line. 24 plays 12. 20 minutes remaining in the game. Penrith, one of the gutsiest performances in the Premiership that I, I, I think I can remember was probably the exception of Manly back in 78 when they played six games in 24 days to win the to win the championship. What Penrith have done this year with all those players that are out long term is just amazing. Might get a sainthood out of this Ivan Cleary. Now, Brett Stewart away for George Tafua. And hanging on is Dean Farray. And George eventually is taken by Farray when he's tackled by Tenny Zelazniak as well. Here's Matai. He sort of came here thinking, well, there'll be a script for this match. Jason King will score a try, Steve Maddai will score a try, and Brett Stewart will score a try. But it's not happening. Not yet, anyway. Hiku gets up limping a little bit. It looked to me as though he might have gone close to hyperextending there. Cherry Evans, forward, forward kicking down towards Moylan, and Moylan coming out from his own uprights. Puts on a little sprint, goes to Mansour. And now goes to dummy half. Jamal will take a run. So here's Edwards running at Watmo and spinning away. Starling is there. Three manly players. Louis is there. They're very bunched at the moment, Penrith. But they're not... You know, ball movement in this as Plum gets nailed oh, by Justin Horay. That's a plum on plum. Yeah, that is a plum on plum. That's what Nigel Plum does and loves, but suddenly Horro's given him one back. I didn't hear him whining. Oh, you can hear the bones rat rattling there. Big Nigel, though, he just bounces up. Is that the best you got? Sauber puts a little kick in. It's looking for the line, but it's picked up by Hiku. He's not 100%. He's taken down by Robinson Low and Idris over the top. Jamie Lyon, Penrith have won the last two matches against Manly in 2012-2013. I remarked earlier that they won their last visit here at round 26 at Brookie last year. They're on line to do it again today. Bura, he's underneath there. The tackler was Robinson. Jamie's limping. Ball gone to Brett Stewart. Big dummy. Then he slices through. One to beat. Turns it in. And a He scores in front of the Bobby Fulton, Steve Menzies stand crowd. And the Prince of Brookvale opens them up just when his side needed it. And James Hassan has been on the field 20 seconds in this stint, only just went back out there. 
And you see here, Brad Stewart, when he threw the dummy, he saw the defence sliding all the way across. And just superior speed to beat Adam Docker on the outside and Sikamanu on the inside on the Isuzu D-Max replay. James Hassan did a great job to support back through the centre to put himself in a position to take the support pass. Score a very, very important try. We're, we're coming up to quite a 15 minute finish. Conversion successful from Jamie Lyon of the try scored by James Hassan. Yira pointing to that. Uh, injury that he suffered which you saw before the break try scorer james hassan walking like some body language at the moment a little bit of a concern for penrith they've Stay behind, fellas. 20 into the opening 65 minutes. The try scorer James Hassan was born in the UK at a place called Hillingdon. Any idea where that is, Pete? Yeah, that's in England, right? Thank you. Me. Getting plenty of news out of, out of the newsroom today. <laughs> Go down to Brett Finch, that's his job. Oh, he's, he's still working on the other story that I gave him. <laughs> The headgear story, he's working on that now. Probably have it by news time, I would imagine. Here's Hassan. Cherry Evans. So, they are fairly urgent. Moylan and Watini. Watini Zelezniak. They bend him over just outside the 20 metre line. We're back to a six-point ball game, 24-18. Manly. At halftime, we were thinking they were out of this minor premiership race. They haven't won a minor premiership since 1997. And they've got a hard match next Saturday, don't forget, against the Cowboys in Townsville. Yeah, I'm just a bit concerned about the energy levels at the moment out there for Penrith. They've really gone nowhere in this set. They haven't made a mistake. That's been important. McKendry, Mosley, Plum. Round the legs, Hassan over the top. Bura. He's not well. The kick by Soward. The bounce. And it's batted away. It's gone forward, though. The referee was spot on in line. And over here, boys. Give him the mark. Jamal Idris was off for the prize. No. To be recalled. Nothing in it. Finchie. Nothing in it, Sicker. Be careful. Well, yeah, this crowd has certainly come back into the game, Rabs. They haven't given up on the on the manly side just yet. And as Jason King prepares to come back on for his last 13 minutes at Brookvale Oval. Jason King to come back. And I notice Nigel Plum. He's got some juice coming from the nostrils. That probably is a result of the tackle that was put on him. Who was it? Horro, wasn't it? Left a dent on him. Release. Cherry Evans. And they're up towards the Penrith 40 metre line. Simons. And Tom is taken by Jamal Idris. Are they running out of petrol, Penrith? You'd have to forgive them if they are. It's gone to Horro from Stewart. 22 metres out. Sikamanu makes the tackle. They go to the short side again. Fallen puts the banana kick on. It's been knocked on by Mansour. No chance it knocked back. Crowd gives him the raspberry. Now it is with Jamal. And he's held there by King and Starling. The front row is operating now. McKendry, and up comes Horro out of the deep again. He got a ball back to Smith. Talking about energy, energy levels, Pete. They've started this set of six, five moves out from their own line. They'll and know a it good if, tackle, Matai. Sorry, Brad. They'll know it if it's a bad set. Brad's sure to be catches George to fall back there, actually. They'll, they'll be bringing it back around the halfway line. Mansour. 30 out from his own line. Last tackle. Soward. 
goes long, goes towards Tafua. And George comes outside 30, crosses the 40, and pushes it up towards halfway. So Manly come across now with Hiku. And Idris comes up and takes him, but he got the ball away. Bira to Simons, loses his footing, dived on by Sowers. Halfway line, Bura for King, King for Mosley to tackle him. He can get the ball away, he has lost the ball I think. No, he's able to recapture it, but it's come from Bura and gone to Jerry Evans. Now to Simons, and Tom is tackled just outside the 30 metre line. So 69 minutes gone in the game. It's a way to four and again. Now to Stewart linking up on that famous left side. And he's tackled about 17 metres out from the line. So they've put their hands up out on the right-hand side. Four and puts the kick up. Jamie Lyon bats it back. It's come down to Jerry Evans. He turns it in for Tom Simons. Simons for the line again. They roll him over. No try oh, held up. Six. Hand over out here, boys. We've got time out. It's Great defence. Great defence. Again, Wait, Manly Tuck, throwing plenty at them. Wait, the and when the, the ball was knocked back deliberately by Manly, I thought, well, the second wave is going to come through and score, but Penrith got numbers back to deny Tom Simons over the line. Wait, wait, wait. Play the ball. And now they've got to get it out of this danger end again. That's Plum. I thought Cherry Evans had a good chance to take on Jamie Soward. It just looked like he, he had his cash if he just was willing to take him on and, and test the right hand sideline with Petty Petty Hedu. They turned it inside and the Penrith defence was there. There's a bit more energy now. They're out around the 40. Tackle three. McKendry plays it. Mosley gives it up to Mansour. I'm looking at Nigel Plum. He is absolutely out on his feet at the moment. Totally exhausted is Nigel Plum. That hit earlier, I'm sure, took something out of him. Smith puts the kick down over Brett Stewart's head. He's back on his own line, the number one. And Smith it is that leads the procession of defence. Did I hear you say Plum got jammed? Yeah. <laughs> Tafua. <laughs> I take no credit for it because I didn't think of it. Well done, Sterling. Now, here is Hiku playing the ball, thrusting it back for Bura. Sneaks outside the 30. Oh, it's gone He's loose. lost the ball. Penrith have got the ball. They've got to lose Jamie Bura as well. Brown. Bura's limping away out of it. Now it's come from Moylan. It's out to Big Jamal. He sees a gap and he tries to get through it. He'll play the ball nine metres away. Mansour wants it on the left side, but they call it to the right. Mosley turns it in. McKendry is tackled. Three metres out from the line. So Mosley comes away to Smith. He dances a couple of steps. He had Robinson with him. Idris still waits right. with Mansour on the blind side, but Mosley goes to the open, goes to Soward, he's got the premier call, now it's come to Moylan, he fires the ball over to Brown, Brown to the 10, got the ball to Farray, spins away out of the tackle of Horro, ball goes to Docker, Docker's put away, nine metres out on five, playing it again for Mosley, now for Soward, he switches the point, goes for the drop goal, does Moylan, Moylan's Drop kick is successful. So another point to Penrith, and they've widened it to seven now. Uh, we've seen that before. Very clever play. Good thinking and a pressure situation. He had a mountain of time, Matt and Boylan. And now that forces the opposition to score twice in normal time if they're to win it. Well, it took Manly four tackles. Just in case. To get up to 13 players. Should come this way. Jamie Bura went off the far side. And here he is coming down. The head gears off. Nice take, Adam Docker. Brett Finch on the sidelines. Yes, Brett? Yeah, Jamie's walking past us at the moment and he doesn't look good like. Freddie said the head gear's off and uh, it could be uh, the afternoon done for Jamie. Right knee. So this is McKendry up towards halfway. It's been a, a bleak old day, really, for those players that had not missed a game. Uh, Lawrence, no appearance at the start. Bura and Ballon in running. We've lost them. 
Um, the other player that I think was was Brett Stewart. So he's he's safe and sound at the moment. So it's come away now, and Starling's the other one. As the kick goes down to Stewart, right in the corner, he's looking for help, and he gets a bit of help from Penrith in a backward direction. The tackler was Docker. Sterlow. Yeah, George Tafil works out now. Jamie South really comes into his own in these situations. He comes up with some really good decisions. The, 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 the shot at field goal, I think, was a very astute one. That little kick down into the corner there, just to keep Manly down this end of the field. It's such a confidence builder to have somebody in your team who can close out a game. And Sal is one of those players. Can we call him the closer? There's King. Big kick down to Moylan. Off his line. Mansour in the middle. And out the other side. He might have lost the britches there, but no. I thought he was being derobed. It's likely the prime mover pulling the trailer along. This is McKendry. He had a big start. He's trampled over the top of Starling. Starling getting up, shaking his melon. Here's Smith. What was that, he said? It might have been the, the 569 to Palm Beach. And this is Plum with the ball. He's found another little bit of oxygen, Nigel. Now it's gone on. Soured short. Brown with the ball, dancing away on his right foot a couple of times, Lewis. And he'll play the ball 30 metres out. Five tackles gone, the Panthers. they got five and a half minutes to go. They're in front by seven. And it's Will Smith who puts a little kick in. But that's innocuous. It went straight down to Brett Stewart. And he's tackled inside his own ten. So Jamie Lyon. Along the line they go. Out to Foran. Foran out of a leg roping tackle. One time, but Docker has another go. So it's played back for Senna Lafayette. Now it's gone to Jamie Lyon. He turns it back on the inside for Matai to turn it back even further for Senna Lafayette. He plays it on the 30 metre line. Here's Hiku coming away. And he has his leg snapped from under him. And Adam Docker making, I think, three in a row there. Here's Watmo, just dropping it back to Jamie Lyon. Now it's to Horro, now it's to Senna Lafayo. He's, uh, in fact, it's not him, it's Hiku. He'll play the ball. Now they're a couple of metres on the last tackle for Penrith's territory. And it's Jerry Evans who gets it away to Jamie Lyon. Well, Mosley's got a handful of shorts and he pulls them down. And now it's gone from King to Simons and on to Foran. Foran rolls it away and it's taken by Jamal Ibris just inside his own ten. It was just another eclipse, right? <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking of Wendell Saylor. Oh, hang on, we've got an error here, have we, from Jamal Idris. Scrum feed for Manly. They were showing some urgency to get over there, maybe not enough. But no, I've got the, some sc the scrum set now, timeout called. Timeout. And he was fair game there, Jamal, on the ground. He hadn't been tackled. You can, you can stand now, fellas, you can stand. Well, what an interesting day. Heartache, I would imagine, for a large section of the 18,600 here. Voting their feet for a day at the footy without a cloud, without any rain. And Ray, if you're going to bring somebody along to the footy, maybe from overseas or hadn't been to the football before, and you wanted to display what okay, our game has together, to offer, you would bring together. them here this afternoon. Come together, wait for the outcome. Lewis, Lewis. And they would go away. Lewis, stay their foot to the line. I think very Lewis. delighted with what they'd seen and experienced. Matt on. Seven metres out. There's three and three-quarter minutes to go, and there's seven behind. 
This is Senna Lafayo, fending, fending. Tafua did well to pick up a ball that was low. He's gone back to be five metres out from the line. That's the first. And he plays the ball back to Hiku. He goes deeper. It's gone to Foran. And in comes Cherry Evans. Here's Stewart. And then it's gone to J.D. Lyon. He's in the score. The captain scores. Conversion to come. They won't waste too much time with it. Jamie jogs back. Well, he's got to take a little bit of time because he's got to make sure this goes over. It would certainly help, otherwise they need to score a try. He turned them inside out here, Brett Stewart. He mesmerised them. Got the football through the dummy, then stepped as Jamie Sauer turned to his inside and bang, the horse had bolted. Oh, that was special. That was special. Come on, you can do better with special than that. Oh, it was like Jonathan Thurston last week against the Rabbits. Just toying with him. Line from the sideline. No, it's going away. It's time off. 25 plays 22 with two minutes and 26 seconds to go. Which means it is now a try needed by the Seagulls if they are to win this game. Tenrith will take up plenty of time making their way to halfway. The time is obviously called off. I'll get back there, regroup, get a deep kick and force the Manly side to be travelling 100 metres if they're to get out of this one. They can't walk any slower. And the crowd are giving it to them. But the clock has been stopped. On the scoreboard, it says 2.26 to go. On our board, it says 2.28 to go. 25 plays 22. Penrith with the likes of, Car of Kite, Cartwright, Taylor, Stay Wallace, behind. Simmons, Yo, Preach, Kingston, Seguiaro. <laughs> They're all injured. Lattimore suspended. Kickoff comes down to Simons. And Tom is tackled just outside the 20. Two and a quarter minutes to go. Amy Lyon goes over to Jason King. His farewell game at Brookvale. 25 to 22. His team trailing. What most? Stewart. Now it's gone over to Foran. Foran's over the halfway. Still going for him, but he's pulled down. But Manly pressing now. Here they come. Manly pressing now. And it's come away to Senna Lafayo. He's had a lot of involvement. Starling dives on the ball on the 40-metre line. Plays it back for Horro. Now to Simon. This is Jamie Lyon. He goes away from a tackle from Robinson. He drops it down in the direction of Senna Lafayo again. He dummies and tries to basically find an opening, but it's not there. And down goes Senna Lafayo. About 30 metres out, 35 out. They come away for the kick off Foran's right foot. He goes high, hoping for a Penrith mistake. Moylan goes up high. It's come down to Manly. They're going to score. Simons will score. Wow. In the corner. Manly get up. Manly get up. You'll say the win. 26 to 25. 26 to 25. Now have, a, have a look at what Jamie Lyon does here. He may have thrown a couple of intercept passes as the Manly fans, well, they go, they are ecstatic. The Jamie Lyon play here, Ray, is as brilliant as you will ever see. Gets the football and then throws it back to Jason King, who finds Peter Hicku, who finds Tom Simons. Well, I told fit. you there was a script. A <laughs> and Jason finish. King had a part of it. Manly 26. Penrith 25, the kick to come purely academic, and you made in the crowd, he just give you the bird again. What's He's wrong? What have again. I done now? He's giving the bird again. I'm getting me throat slit as well. <laughs> Security. <laughs> so Jamie Lyon. The great sights, they find a way, don't they? They just find a way. Well, he'd had an, un an uncustomary game, hadn't he? The smile on the face of Cherry Evans replicates the smile and the exuberance of the crowd. I, did. I asked for it 15 seconds ago. Hang on, it took him 15 seconds to do it. It's got, got nothing to do with me. I'm telling you the truth. 
It took him 15 seconds. It did. Well, it's not my call. Off he go. Well, Jamie Lyon, uh, Jamie Sout, I'm sorry, blowing up about the time that has elapsed. He wants to get back. He thought there should have been 26 seconds instead of 11. Jamie Lyon from the sideline now. To wrap up what has been some afternoon. Well, it's been an absolutely bizarre day. This fellow has done a couple of things today that he... I don't think he's ever made two mistakes in his career. But he has today, and then he's featured in the try that has won Manly the game and possibly won them the minor premiership. We've got four seconds, right? But they do have a big game next Saturday night to come. Four seconds to go. Four seconds for the short restart and for Penrith to somehow get any type of point. No, I don't think... You just hop there, mate, just in case. Funky's I wouldn't think 5% of this crowd have left the have left the venue. Although Fittler's gone. Fittler's gone. Fittler's still here. That's him Fittler's from the, still here. That's him from the exit gate. Down it comes. Here we it go. goes into touch. And up goes the crowd. Manly win by a point. I have no control over it. I promise you. I promise. Yes, you can bring it up all your life. Timekeeper, mate, and the NRL. Unbelievable. To get out of jail the way they have. The man of the match, by the way, is the Penrith fullback. Matt Moylan takes the KFC Man of the Match award Thursday. Roosters versus Rabbits at Allianz, live at 7.30. Right now, though, from the football, it's good night. Here's the news.